Hi there! Today let's learn how to get started with Vue Storefront and Udo. So the best way is to use a Vue Storefront Docker repo and uh, this because you might be a front-end developer or an Udo developer, one of the both usually. Of course you can master both uh, Nox.js and Udo, we don't know. But with this, you can have the option of running the second system for development without knowing much about it, right? So if you go into our GitHub at UduGap, that's the name of the GitHub, but now we are ERPGap, uh, you will see the first repo, this is for uh, Udo modules, the one that says Vusto front. Then you have Wooster Front Docker. This is the Docker module. And then you have this one, which is at Wooster Front Community, the template for Udo. This is for later, right? Let's get started with this one. So I already have it here. So I'll just go to use uh, uh, Visual Studio. And yeah, so I'll show you. So what we have here, we have a docker compose file. This docker compose file, it has a Redis for caching all content and HTML. Then the database, it's for Udo, uh, the Udo server and the Vusta front server. So this Udo server is running from this docker file here which is just using the Udo 16 uh, Docker file. And then we are copying the requirements text. These are the libraries, additional libraries that we are using for Vusta front module. And it also changes the entry point and adds this shell script to make Vusta front enter the bug mode for GraphQL and set uh, uh, some additional parameters that you can check here. So if you look at the startup, what we are doing is the first time we build the image, we also clone Vue Storefront. This is where at Udo Gap, this is where the Udo modules are. Then it installs GraphQL Vue Storefront module, and then it just pipes this start script into the shell of Udo. That's all. And then on the Vue Storefront side, what we have here is just a plain node uh, 16 version watch out for the version it's important and then we are cloning the Vue storefront community template for Udo which is the one that I showed you before and this uh, all of these uh, of course we have to load the, ca the categories and the products but this is something I'll show you why later on right now if you look here, you will see we are passing this environment file. And so some of the variables are for a node and Vusta front, which are these first ones. And these ones are for Udo. Okay. Uh, you can learn more about it in the documentation. Uh, but for now, well, let's just fire it up. So I'll just, yeah, if I go here into the readme file so I can just go and copy this command here docker compose up to be faster I already run it once so it's going to build much faster and now I can go and I can inspect uh, localhost 3000 and there you go this is my Vusta front server and it's pulling uh, data from Udo. Uh, probably I need to. It's it's still loading. It's because I'm doing some screen sharing. Like let's say I'm I'm streaming. It it gets a bit slow, but it's blazing fast. Believe me. You can check it by yourself if you go into our demo. Um, okay, so this front end, it's a Nuxt.js application. And it's getting all the data from Udo and then storing, storing it in Redis. Let's check. So if I go into localhost, I'll show you this later. 
8069. This is an Udo uh, server that is running on Docker. So if I just do uh, docker compose logs minus f, we can see when we go into some page, and it's moving, you see, this is the Udo backend. So if I just do VSF, uh, no, GraphQL, GraphQL slash VSF, I can go into the GraphQL interface where I can just, just run some queries. So I can just go here and take the SKU out and say, I want to see the description and I can play around with this. And there you go, this is the description. And then I can see other available queries and the documentation for mutations, all is here, okay? So this way I can spin Udo and Vusta front at the same time, right? So if I, yeah, so you see, this is Udo getting the queries. At some point it stops because if you use Redis, click, Redis clear here, and I do keys. You see, we have all these keys. So if I flush all our keys again, so you see nothing here. So if I go back into an into Vusta front and get uh, some of the see second time it appears faster. And so it's just storing the keys for the queries we are throwing into GraphQL interface of Voodoo. Again, I'm, I'm using my laptop for streaming with OBS and it seems a bit slow. Um, then again, I do keys and now you see he's storing all these values and he's using them. So that's why Vusta front is fast. And, and there's several ways of doing invalidation of these keys depending if the product has changed and and you want just to do or you want Vusa front to query again so if i delete the key next time is going to fetch it into Voodoo. that's simple right that's how it works so uh, uh let's let's imagine you are a, a nuxjs developer and you want to use it so the best option really is start with docker compose so if i do docker compose and um, PS, we see we have the database, we have Udo, Redis, and Vusta front. So what I'll do, I'll just stop Vusta front. So I'll use Docker Compose stop VSF. There you go. It stopped the container. Container is exited. So if I go here and refresh, I should get nothing and I get nothing. Okay. So what I'll do, this is just caching on the browser. Uh, what I will do now is I will sh uh, change into the booster front template. My booster front template. And yeah, again, I'm using uh, NVMRC to make sure I have the correct version. And so what you should do now, it's yarn so that you make sure you have all the dependencies you need. I already run this once. And now you can, before you do this, you can go into, well, let's stop this here and code. So this is at uh, Vooster front repo. And yeah, if you see, you have an env example and you have to change it uh, because by default, this is pointing toward demo and should point into your local so if you're doing development right and so i just changed base url into localhost be sure to have the last backslash it's important and i'm going to change also site url to localhost 3000 node api base url i can also comment this out by default is going to use it and so that's all right now um, i can just run this on my local it's going to be a bit slower because of my laptop, but I'll pause the video. So I'll do yarn dev and yeah, it should compile and let's see, uh, is it done? Yeah, because I ran it last 
time and now it's, it should be fast so let's say there we go let's give him some time now yeah it's still loading so let's pause a bit okay stop the video and now he's done building completed successfully as I said it's a bit slow because it's on my laptop and I have other software running uh, but then, yeah we go here and you see now it's showing up and if I change something on my code it will change here so let's do a small test I'll just do something very simple like maybe yeah remove this and just put an xx save it and now um, oh, I did something wrong It's building, yeah, took three seconds there, but here return home. Okay, there you go. The three dots I added, and yeah, uh, that's just the way to get it started. And of course, this is if you are a Nux developer if you are a Udo developer you can do exactly the opposite you will stop Udo you will run it from your local and then you can change data and see how it affects the the uh, the website I probably would recommend to disable Redis so you should go here into the env file or you can do it on the docker file uh, and pass redis enabled equals false and this way it will update without looping into redis and yeah that's all i <coughs> i wanted to show today and hope you liked it thank you see you next time